Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I'm a little bit biased because I do a lot of research in this area, but uh, I mean, patient reported outcomes I think are critically important, uh, certainly to cardiologists uh, and, and to, to medicine at large. Uh, patient reported outcomes focus on what is important to patients, outcomes that matter to patients. Uh, you know, how, what is a what is, uh, patient's quality of life? What is their quality of life? How, how, are, how are they feeling? Um, you know, how functional are patients? Uh, how much time can they spend with their families? Uh, these, these are things that are critically important above and beyond traditional outcomes such as mortality and um, uh, you know, readmissions. So uh, we have some very good ones uh, in cardiology. Uh, uh, PROMs that have been, uh, PROMs of course stand for patient reported outcome measures. Uh, but we have PROMs that, that have been developed by uh, John Spertus, uh, who, was, who was really one of the fathers of patient reported outcome measurement in cardiology at Kansas City. Uh, but, but John developed the Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire and the Seattle Angina Questionnaire. Uh, these are questionnaires that are highly predictive of, of mortality and, and readmissions and, and also you know, measure uh, you know, quality of life. And uh, these, are, these are measures that are very easily integrated uh, into any kind of value measurement program. Uh, other problems are being developed that focus on conditions such as atrial fibrillation. Uh, and uh, you start combining those with other more general measures of quality of life. Uh, the NIH is, is developing some of these. They're called the PROMISE measures. Uh, and uh, you really have the underpinnings of a very robust uh, measurement system.